Um, so every year, again, one of our favorite traditions is asking somebody from the class to share some of the, their experiences and to just kind of give an overview for our guests and for our friends and our colleagues and our families, a little glimpse into what was class 12. Um, and so last uh, month, we had the opportunity to ask everyone um, who they wanted to speak for them. Um, and I will say this year, we have really some talented, very eloquent people in this class. Um, and the idea is that it's someone who really took advantage of all of the different elements of the program and, um, you know, kind of took advantage of the executive coaching and also, you know, um, really was finding ways to, to demonstrate how they were going to apply the work of the um, Leadership Academy. And uh, the consensus was that their speaker should be Carlos Castaneda. He, um, over the course of this year, changed positions um, and shared with us some more background about his own history in the nonprofit sector. Um, and I'll let him talk about that, but really fascinating um, um, journey to watch him. And we had one of his former um, bosses, Avin, who's with us, uh, who ended up referenced today a number of times, which was really fun, but um, comes from such, has learned from such strong leaders and then now is emerging as a leader himself. And so we're looking forward to Carlos's remarks today. Well, good afternoon, my amazing American Express class 12. The best class out of the dozen is what I heard Jill and Cass say earlier today. So I'm just making sure that it's out there. Um, I also wanna say thank you uh, to my class for allowing me to speak today. Um, I, I can't say it enough that there are at least 10 people, if not more of my classmates that I would nominate in a heartbeat. Um, and this, in, this incredible journey has been because of you. So thank you so much. Um, speaking of Jill and Cass, um, I'm confident that I speak for the entire class when I say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much a million times over for your energy and your passion in mentoring us throughout this entire process, for organizing the daily schedules, to coordinating our amazing coaches, our class speakers, Thank you for your light, your love, and your passion in supporting our class. Class 12, the best class out of the dozen. To Dr. Ashcraft, the Executive Director of the Lodestar Center at Arizona State University, go Sun Devils. Thank you for your incredible program. Uh, this has been life-changing and I can't speak volumes enough about how all of us feel empowered to go and conquer the world now. <clears throat> as well, I want to convey my gratitude and really our gratitude as a class to the amazing coaches and mentors, um, Andrea, Georgiana, Colonel Boggs, Karen, Brian, and a special shout out to my personal coach, Wally, who is phenomenal. Um, first day I met with him, he sat me down and he saw right through me. He knew exactly who I was as a person, as a leader, and for that I'm ever grateful. Um, because you cut through the BS that was Carlos in this facade. And he said, nope, let's go to the nugget. And there I was. Uh, so thank you, Ollie, for that. Um, your experience as a whole, to all of our coaches, you really represent the seasoned leadership we all aspire to be. Thank you for your time. Lastly, I'd like to give a special shout out to a dear friend um, who I had the privilege of meeting through this process and I hope he's on, but Dr. Kevin Patterson, um, we all loved and adored. And let me just share from my perspective as a young-ish gay man, that it's truly hard to find mentors in the community that you can both relate to culturally and grow from professionally. For decades, we've shunned the LGBTQ community into the closet, assuming that they have no value to younger generations as their authentic selves. And the reality is that it's taken me into my 30s to come across a leader that I can aspire to be. So for that, thank you for showing me your strength and that our strength is not a weakness, but on the contrary, being our 1000% fabulous selves is what gives us courage so we can all pay that forward. All right, well, American Express Class 12, we did it. Nine months later and one quarantine, we're done with the program. At first I wrote the speech with my natural blue hat uh, on, listing out everything that I learned alphabetically in chronological order, systematically categorized a rubric that methodically laid out our learning outcomes. I also developed a template on how to properly plan for a vacation 
um, that was vetted by peer-reviewed articles from Stanford, Harvard, and Yale. So this is what I mean, class 12 is the best out of the dozen. But I thought I better not do that, so I channeled my inner yellow person, um, as well as my red, and I dug deep, 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 deep down into my soul, and this is what I have to say to my classmates. I'm truly humbled and honored to represent you today. In a heartbeat, I would spend another nine months with you, quarantined or otherwise. If you recall our first day um, of our class at the Wells Fargo Museum, when we shared our Pixar stories, just in listening to your stories, all of the pretense that I had melted away because I knew at that moment I was with my people. Nonprofit folk are just different. To the world, you're welcome. Because this work is not really luxurious. In fact, oftentimes it's downright thankless. We're not gonna make it rich, let's be honest. Burnout is very real. And the reason our organizations exist is because we're trying to help alleviate, remedy, stick a Band-Aid on something that's impacting our community. We see a need and we respond. It happened in the quarantine, it's happened before. It's to the core of what makes us, us. Many of you, my classmates, we can do any job, honestly. Let's be honest with ourselves. We can do any corporate job in America, get paid a lot more for what we're already doing in the nonprofit sector, pay our yearly donation to charity and be done with it. We can say, let somebody else figure the problem. It's not up to us. But on the contrary, we roll up our sleeves and we get to work on creating solutions to the, to the problems that affect our communities. And we are that community. Let me recapture what it is that we all do in this room together, us as classmates. We nurture new readers, develop young minds, educate ambitious ones. We teach the beauty of music, art, dance, culture, and the very characteristics that define us as humans. We support families big and small, even ones with fur babies. We help create new loving families to children for the first time. Some with a mom and a dad, some with two dads, some with two moms. We advocate for each other and we advocate for our nonprofit partners. We do not compete, we cooperate. We break the cycle of poverty, we feed the hungry, we give hope to the hopeless, we work to heal our earth. We empower those looking for new start, a safe home, a hot meal, oftentimes a warm hug from a friendly face. We're the voice of the Black, the LGBTQ, the homeless, the countless other marginalized communities in our state and across our country. We work to cure cancer. We work to provide vaccines. We work at the front lines of pandemics. We're the spaces where boys and girls can be boys and girls. We're a warm voice to those on the brink. We're a compassionate face to those who are shunned, alone, and afraid in the dark. We grant wishes, sometimes for the last time. We make ourselves vulnerable to bridge the gap to those who are hurting. We're already leaders in a sector starving for leadership, and you, class 12, class 11, class 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, we are the leaders for the future, and you are the leaders that I aspire to be. So thank you all for your hard work, for your passion and your compassion that you have in your core to help make our community stronger, more vibrant and equitable for everyone. I thought participating in the program was gonna teach me rubrics and templates, everything that my blue little heart desired to quantifiably make me a better leader. Well, it's done that and so much more. We are now part of a community, a network of family and it's really going to take all of us together to be the change we wish to see for our communities. The American Express Leadership Academy has given us all the courage. Cheers to our amazing class. I love you all. You all have a friend in me. We are now a family and a network uh, and we can get through this together. Cheers.